again and again These girls might be tears, but I recommend Chasing the bag, get what you had, and always keep it wild, kid yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, we back with another one today We got a brand new guest Go ahead and introduce yourself Hey, it's Tish yeah. How y'all doing? I'm doing good, man uh, we just came from uh, dinner with the family. About fell asleep at the table. Nice. 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 So I just sent you that soon. They wasn't even there. I don't know what it was. I've been up all day though. I got a red bull. Damn. Nah, I sure had me in there before. I've been chilling all day. All right. I've been watching football. And that game had me on the seat of my pants, boy. Uh, and they ain't even my team, but she was good. <laughs> And I got smart. I had both the quarterbacks playing on my fantasy. So either way this motherfucker went, <laughs> your boy got points. So I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so sir. We got a few things today. You got the first one? Yeah, we can do mine. So shout out to the boy Zach Hicks for these two. We're going to hit him with the first one. Is it toxic to have the location of your partner on 24-7? You're saying like my 360 and stuff yeah. like that? It depends on the relationship. Like, if you're already toxic and going back and forth that is, then you're yes. using that as an excuse to watch them. But if you're in a real deal relationship and it's more of, Safety. I ain't heard you from from you, it's fucking everything okay, you in a wreck. I mean, you know, it's it depends on the relationship. One of my exes was like that. I think we see, I only wanted me to get it. Oh, that'd be good for you and the kids, isn't it? No, I think she only wanted me to get it to see <laughs> what I was doing. doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get out of work and swing by her house, see my kids. Mm -hmm. you know, she noticed I'm there. She'll take a picture of it and send it to me. I'm like, I know where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know where I'm at. I can't you see my kids. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I can't see my kids. I mean, so it, it depends on the relationship, man. As long as you don't abuse it. Yeah. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Sure. Because my, my parents yeah. have it just to like, if like Brian goes out of town or whatever, that way mom can just check in and make sure you're safe. So like, if you just don't abuse it, I don't see a big deal. Yeah. It all depends on the people. Because I, I, don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for anybody to know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I got a location on my car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check and see where that's at. That's in case someone steal your shit. Your car kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? Same time, you know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I don't care for you to check it. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the 360. You can check it anytime you want to. I ain't got a problem with it. You know, I'm going to tell you where I'm going anyway. But that's different. You're not doing sneaky stuff. Yeah. yeah. What you just said is why well, like, I don't prefer it for me. Just like if I tell you I'm here online, that's what I'm here. Yo, yo. If we good with communicating, I don't really see why we need it. Except for like we got we got kids, we try to keep up with them too. Mm -hmm. So for us as a group, yeah, we can have. But outside of that, I don't really see the point really. Yeah. I think it's like, I mean it's a good idea. So whoever made it came up with the idea for a good reason. They smart. But here's the problem with it. No matter how many times you come up with something good, there's always that one person that's going to fuck it up for everybody and make it a bad thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're so worried about someone not being what I said it need to be, pause. Break up with them. There's no reason for you to try to stalk them. If you have any doubts whatsoever, you probably don't need to be with them because mm -hmm. it's not worth it. If you can't have trust from the get-go, why are you there? And if you just need someone to blame on, go find a crackhead and see if he's on the same corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to use it to just be malicious about something, go do it for a fun part. Don't fucking try to sit here and make someone who really probably ain't doing shit make them feel like, well, damn, like, she always think I'm doing this. Eventually, you're going to make that motherfucker toxic. He's going to go start doing some fuck shit. Oh, no, no, that, that will creep in the head a little bit. <laughs> like, I'm, like, for me, if I say I'm somewhere, like you said, I'm somewhere. For one, I don't need like 360. I'm big as fuck. You're going to find me regardless. It ain't like I'm not the same size, but damn, view it. But That's if you're trying to figure out where I'm at that bad, I'm a person. I would drive somewhere on purpose, turn my location off, turn it back on, let it spot me right there, turn that shit back off so the last place you saw me was somewhere you didn't think I would be. I do that shit on purpose. Just to fuck with you. Because for one, if, like I said, if you don't trust me, I'm going to really make you not trust me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get like, there's times for me where I'm going to fuck up. Don't get me wrong. I've been there. I am king toxic in this motherfucker. But there's also times if I tell you I'm somewhere... The fact that I told you anyways, I'm not lying to you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go do some fuck shit. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. Because I'm cool. Ain't none of your fuck business in the first place. I'm grown. I pay my own bills. <laughs> now, out of respect, where I let you know, hey, I'm going to town or I'm doing something? Yes. I don't remember to tell my parents I'm going to play softball somewhere. They know where I'm going. I'll be like, yeah, I'll let you know I get to the hotel. I don't remember. 
So it's really just one of those, like, just depending on the people. Type of thing. If you have yeah. trust, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't have no trust, don't get it. Because all you can do, it's another excuse for you to sit there and fight. Honestly, bro. So I'm about for you to just sit there and check every five minutes. Right. <clears throat> Now, if I'm going somewhere out in a BFE where it probably ain't nigga friendly, See, that's what I'm, I'm getting like 360 for that moment with one of my homeboys. Yeah. And I'm be like, look, if you don't see this dot move in 20 minutes, your dot better be coming to my dot quickly. <laughs> but that would be it. I wouldn't do it for a relationship until I know I'm in deep of a relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, once again, you have to be able to trust me. Uh, if I'm going to put in time, especially if I take you out in public, that's how you know. If I fucks with you in public... It's real. Now, if I'm, you just a night fighter that I come in at 2 o'clock in the morning because I ain't got nothing else to do. Know your position. And play your position. It's toxic, but it's truthful. Yeah. I, I ain't giving you some information on my life that could technically get me fucked off. Because some people use it for a bad thing. Yeah. You may have it for your girl. You piss her off one time. She knows some niggas looking for you. I hear the nigga that. Yeah. We had it. We've been together since 2004. I don't know when all this came out. We had it one time, and that was because I had a slick kid. You know what I'm saying? So we was all on together, and I got one kid. If you tell her to go somewhere, it, so. you tell her to go somewhere and tell her to keep a location on. She didn't until somebody came to me. Hey, I seen your daughter so and so. So we like, right, we gonna handle it. So that's what we had it for. Other than that, we didn't even have it long. But I mean, the way y'all described, you could just, you guys didn't even really need it. Y'all had no. people around town that could just point <laughs> that, out. Hey, that's, like, that's what you know? Life 360 was. It was about landlines. Yeah. I was about to say, y'all had Life 360. They say it takes a people. village to raise kids and stuff like that. Shit, that shit was so real. Everybody in town know everybody, so that's what it was. We never everybody in the hood knew somebody. You got in trouble in school, there's some stay-at-home mama going down the street. She gonna get you. She All probably right. gonna tell your ass up. And then tell you, now wait till I tell your mama. Yeah. Day, everybody got something I don't know, you know, I got they my asshole by the name. They're going to reach out and let us know. Quit. So, yeah. Shit, they had pagers back then. Boy, they would have paged my daddy on that UPS truck so quick. <laughs> then they would have beat my ass with a tape gun. Right. So the second topic that my boy threw out, would you date a single mother? I'd probably only date a single mother. But I would. Was, I mean, I have. And that, again, goes, it depends on the woman. Because some that. single women can handle being, like, some men can handle being in other kids' lives and raising other kids, and then some men can't. Just like a woman can, some women will get with a man and say fuck that kid. So I mean, it, dep it again depends on the people because if you're gonna say fuck your kid for a man, then it, would it be worth dating that single mother? No. I want to know why you're a single mom first. Yeah. And I'm just gonna. That's. I mean, this is gonna sound bad, but people break up with each other for certain reasons. Yeah. Certain people are single for a certain reason. You're a single mom because you're a piece of shit person. Do I want to date you? Well, I mean, that's what you got to find. A lot of times you don't know that. Yeah, yeah I was about but to say, you got to find that out. I'd rather find that out while you have a child with someone else because I want to see what your friendship or parentship is with your baby daddy, your baby mom. How y'all two act is going to reflect how you're going to act with me. Because say we have a child together and some things don't work out. Now I got to deal with the same shit that man dealing with. What people put on mm -hmm. masks. Exactly. A lot of times, you know, there's a baby. But mask daddy. aren't permanent. There's a baby daddy. There's yeah, a baby but mama. But, but you don't know none of the business until y'all get. I'm about to say, by the time that mask falls off, it's already too late. Yeah, I'm you trying to rip that bitch off. I gotta get to know you mentally. That's why I said like before, I might, I might have been a hoe back in the day, and I may still be on some fuck shit. But if I don't know you mentally, you may have been behaving ish. I ain't snatched souls in like some weeks, days, whatever. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> but if I don't know you intellectually, I can't fuck with you. Because there's always that chance. Now, now I can't do shit because, you know, boy got snipped. I can be dropping baby batter off and everybody. You ain't getting no eggs in this bitch. But that's the thing. You got to be careful what you do. Especially even if you have the blessing of being snipped. Emotional ties can be just as strong as having a child with somebody. You find that one stage nine clinger that got some DEFCON 4 shit going on. You got baby mama drama. You ain't got no baby. That shit right there is more hell than anything. Yeah. Especially for the folks that really ain't got no baby but got baby mama. That's the same thing, too. Like, if they got a kid, and, you know what I'm saying, that's not your kid, y'all together. When a breakup happens, it's still feel like baby mama drunk. Baby mama drunk. It's, it's crazy. Especially if y'all was together for a decent amount of time and that child's like your child. But that shit's rough. I don't have a, no problem dating a single mother. 
at all. You know what I'm saying? You come across a good one. Yeah. Hey, you go up from there. Someone could have fucked up if she was a good woman. You come across a good one and that kid is respectful. Shit, you winning right there. Yeah. You winning right there. But like I said, you don't know a lot of that stuff until y'all actually get together. Yeah. Everybody talk a good game in that talking stage. But then, you know, talk a stage and y'all get together and then you start seeing something like, I ain't even know none of this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't see none of it. You saw her. You didn't see the whole picture. So, I just feel like people rush too much in relationships and they don't have time to find that out. Yeah. That's yeah. why I said, you got to find out what someone's mental is. I'm cool. It was like a meme. So I saw this the other day and I laughed, but that shit was real. You know, it says you in her DMs, but I'm in her bathroom Googling all her medicine in the cabinet. <laughs> I'm cool. It's funny. But I need to know something. Because, yeah. you know, some people don't want to talk about it, but I'm like, if you got bipolar, schizophrenia, and some other shit, but you acting all calm because you doped up right now, tell me something. Because I ain't going to just come out and be like, hey, I looked in your meds. I'm going to sit here and talk to you, and I want to see if these medications are keeping you normal, or can you function even if you didn't, you know, remember to take it. Because yeah. some people miss one day, and they be going off the hinges. Nigga ain't trying to be the next first 48. You know what I'm saying? Same thing we. True. People be getting there. Yeah, they plan for the day. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but the mental is the same way, too, though. Yeah. They can look like they can have a real good mental during their talking stage. And they'll so, snap when they finally get that title. That title's a motherfucker, boy. Yeah. So, so for those that say, I don't think that's a question. Yeah. I respect it. Mm -hmm. That's a question most of people. us out here, yeah, yeah. can say, yes, we would date a single mother. I don't know many people that will say no off the real, you know. I think it takes maturity. Yeah. I think anybody can be like, oh, yeah, Same I can date time. a single mother, but yeah. then they don't realize that they get in because then that child becomes more involved. Because I'm like, if I'm dating a single mom, I'm taking care of the child like it's mom. Yeah. You got to. Got Same time, the ones that say no, they really don't know what they be missing out on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's exactly what you need. Yeah, but That's then again, the there's some thing. people that just don't want a kid, period. Whether it's theirs right. or somebody else, Some there's some people that just do not want kids. Same and time. And respect same time. Them. On the low, sometimes that's what they need. It may be what the they need, but what, they, they know they, they can't handle it. And it helps them grow up, too. Yeah. So. Good. Having a kid young is the only reason I'm probably still here. Yeah. Because everybody knows, if you knew me back then, I was quiet. I was on some shit. Huh. People, I was uh, wild back then. People like to knock stuff too early. That's what it is. And they don't even try it. Yeah. Knock it before they try it and miss out on everything. Everything. So. Yeah. I got one to bounce off. So what you said. Would you date a single mother? Would you date a girl, single mother or not, that lives in Section 8 housing? Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. see why any of that would matter, honestly. It's got to be the person. I mean, yeah, because why does it matter where I stay or what I do? So. If you like me as a person, it shouldn't right. matter where... But then again, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying because because there's some that's there and just ain't getting no job because they just want to slum off yeah. some folks. Just that's, that's, that's the part of it. Yeah. That's not everybody hate Charles and White, but he been hitting on this lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like he said, what you gonna do 10, 20 years down the road when the child support disappear, the kid grown, and all that? What how you gonna make it then? Mm -hmm. You ain't got no job. You out here living on Section Eight. You know what I'm saying? They got they're coochies just, in. Just abusing it. That's about all they got left now. Ain't nobody, nobody going to want to be coochie in 40, 50. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that you ain't been nowhere through your life. But I mean, my thing is, is kind of what y'all were saying. You got coochie to sell and how you were saying that they don't want to get that job. They already blowing their money anyway. So that coochie mm -hmm. that they sell, that, that money is going to go to whatever the they, fuck that they, they want. Coochie ain't going to get them nowhere. I feel like they don't. Like, as, as, as we get older, we mature. Most of us. Mm. Are mature, so when we hit forty, and you forty still selling coochie. We looking at you like <coughs> I ain't even about to mess with that because we ain't scared. gonna get nowhere. So all I'm doing is hitting it too many miles. You know what I'm saying? All I'm doing is hitting it because what else I'm gonna do with you? You don't, you don't plan on doing nothing with your life, but you still here. And you ain't bringing nothing to the table. It's gonna help outside of that. Hell, you got left hand and right hand. I'm cool. You ain't gotta have it. So that ain't gonna get you far. You know. So I don't knock nobody that live on it. I just, well, I just want you and your business while you want it. Mm -hmm. I wish I could live on section. Come out of there. Months. Your kids, you if money. you plan on staying that whole time, your kids young, when your kids go, come out that thing with eight feet to credit score. Ooh, come out there you? with some paid off vehicles. Eric. Come out of there I'm really bossed Eric. up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I see it. I promise you. We've stayed on that longer. 
Right. My boy been a Lambo. Hey, you heard? <laughs> I own a lot of shit right now. <laughs> But we just got to the point. Section eight. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to the point where it's like, man, we don't need it no more. Somebody else that needed it is still on the list. Let them get it. We done with it. Mm -hmm. That's how we've always been. With it. Like we, we've been there a couple times. So I don't, I don't knock it because you never know what somebody's situation is. I'm saying people looking for places to stay now. You know, so I, I help them out, tell them what to do, tell them where to go, so they can get on. You know what I'm saying I ain't knocking nobody. You got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And how many times do you have to start over your life? Can't nobody tell you how many times you did. You can start with a thousand times. As so, long as you put one foot in front of the other and moving forward, mm -hmm. don't just sit there in it. Don't wallow in it. Don't think that, oh, since I got it, I may as well not do nothing with it. Yeah. You can be a great person. It's just something happened in your life. You down right now, you got to start over. So, you can't be afraid to restart. Yeah, you can't. Sometimes get that section eight crib. Mm -hmm. Get that hood crib. Oh, have that one bed and on the floor with no rails. You gotta start somewhere. Hell, I go. I've done, done it plenty of times. I've done it plenty of times. I've done it plenty of times. When me and her were through, I went get my own spot. Yeah, I had enough for that spot. That was but it. I had to piece everything together one by one. So, we all do it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Side question to that. Do you believe that they should start drug testing people to get Section 8 out? Yes. Yes. And not just know. for I like, not weed. No. I don't care about the weed. Okay, but okay, if you're okay. sitting here, okay, if you're yeah, sitting you sitting here shooting up in the back goddamn seat right. while you baby, yeah, no, you okay, don't right. need to be on that. If you have a medical card, the drug count yeah. shouldn't, yeah. the yeah. drug, yeah. That, yeah. anything marijuana shouldn't matter. No, yeah. the weed don't bother you. But it's everything else. Yeah, yeah. If you can afford to do all that, then you can afford to live outside of those means. I mean, because if you really are doing all that, you spend a good cake too. Yeah. That shit ain't cheap. And if you can afford that, then you can afford to go get your apartment or whatever it is you need. You get free drugs. <laughs> it's just probably what you do. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Because like right. some people rather get that, you know, that little nose candy instead of getting their baby formula. Boy, that was right. sugar, motherfucker, boy. Boy, it's crazy. It all though. depends on the person. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much to look into when you go to date somebody. Like, it ain't just, oh, yeah, I'm going to date her because she's pretty, or, oh, yeah, he look good. You got to look into everything nowadays because you don't know what the person's about. You don't know. The looks are funny. I feel like, I though. Promise, that's why it's almost not, it's, like, nerve in the day. Like, it's not even worth it because a lot of times people don't be wanting to stand on business and folks just want to be doing all the goofy shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like we we in a generation now where we should be made to, to do stuff. We should be made to boss up. You know, yeah, if you on Section 8 or whatever, but you ain't working at all, people need to be checking on that. You shouldn't be, be checking. I need you out here working. Pro, I need you to better yourself. You, some kind of employment you can't going. stay here, but I need you to be better yourself, not just sitting at the crib. No, because that Section 8, yeah. like, it's supposed to be there to help you get yeah. better. Yeah, it's government assistance, it's not yeah. government living. Yeah. So, like, that's, that's, that's how I've always looked at it is, absolutely, if you need to get on it because you need to get on there. But you need to make sure to handle your business so like y'all did to if get off feel, of it. Yeah, feel like y'all need to be on it after a while. It it should be a done with the program, I think. Be like a one it. year lease on it. I mean, not saying that you get denied, but after a year, you should check be in. Re -evaluate yeah, you get reevaluated. Yeah, get reevaluated. And if you can if afford you to move up a little spot, bit, you there should be in. levels to it. Yeah, I, feel I like, agree with that. Like if you in that same spot go. you was in before, then you don't. Then I'm not helping you. I mean, you've been on Section Eight for twelve years. I, I mean, see I what get it, but damn. Whole year. See, my thing is, is if you're in the same spot, it depends on what's been going on. Like, yeah, it's gonna be like handicap. Then you should be able to stay however long. Like, I'll let you, because I always, of course, this might just be my niceness, but of course, if you fall off once, I'll let you get a slide once. But if it keeps on happening, like if it's never going what's going on, doing, then yeah. okay. You getting cut off, but if you fall off like once, even twice, okay, you know that, that's going to happen. Gonna do that. yeah, yeah. But if it's a repeat type of thing, and I realize you just taking advantage of like the government assistance, no, you got to go. What are you doing that's causing you to continuously fall off? Because it gets to that bad. Now we gotta be like, hey, look, now we gonna help you, but you gotta go get some counseling or something. Because mm -hmm. I mean, everyone has, you know, everyone's made mistakes, done something stupid, fallen off. We've all done it. Thousands of times. You keep doing the same damn shit. Yeah, you can't be a motherfucker getting two thousand. You can't be chronic. You can't be a motherfucker getting two thousand dollars in child support. And, and, and we look million. up. We look up. You spent a thousand of that at crop every month. You got to go. Yeah, you got to go. That <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't care about you smoking weed, but 
you getting this much in and you still want our help, but you using all this right here, we can't help you like that. I feel like okay, if, you, if you get child support, it should be a specific card that does not work at certain like debit card machines. Some of them are already like that. Some of them already don't let you spend them in certain places. Yeah, there should be separate, it, it, it separate readers. It should be separate readers. Like one reads all debit cards, gift cards, all that shit. One should be strictly for child support cards and EBT. You try to buy anything on the code, because I know you can do it, because they can interface it when you do when you go to the methadone clinics and shit. People try to pay for their methadones or go pay for their medication and shit with EBT cards and shit. Yeah, they do it. They, they, they do it. Yeah. I'm like, there should be, there's technology for everything nowadays. We they got Memphis. robots giving out fucking right. vaccines. We was in Memphis. People was in City Train buying clothes with food don't cost. Yeah. <laughs> when we was down there shopping. cash out the value of it. What y'all doing? <laughs> right. They hitting and some like, shit. Right. You're it's, good. it's fucked up, but they really be doing that shit. Then you sit there and think, you're so shitty of a person that you it's care about your image. That. Right. I'm like, you want to do something? These homeless folks you see, you, I don't want to give you cash because for one, I don't trust you. I'm just gonna keep it a bill with you. If they don't take food, I don't. Right, like I'm the one. You want you on the corner. If I see you there and I want to give you something, I'm either gonna do one or two things. If I'm in the truck. I'm gonna like, hop in the back. You ain't getting inside my car. <laughs> hop in the back. We are gonna go down here to this little store. I'm gonna buy you some food. Whatever. Get you a couple bags of little food, a little cheap stuff. So you can go to any little gas station, make your own. And I'm gonna send you back. Make sure you good. Get some coffee or something. You know it's cold. Right. If you don't say yes to that. Get the fuck out of my face. I ain't got nothing for you. I feel like you standing on that corner and I see you more than once or twice. Oh, yeah. More than one day. You can walk your ass on in Walmart, get that job. Because they will hire you. I worked there five, six times. So they hire repeat motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> so you can walk your ass in there and be a dog reader. You ain't got to do much movement. Yeah, hey, right now, you can shake the shit out of that bell for so somebody hey, had Somebody has said they made more money out there than they would. If they was working in Walmart. They do. I was like, they just fucked up that. though. They just yeah. fucked up though. I could not accept that. Because you out here trying to just, you know, trying to get me now. But it's sad though that it, it's true though. Because I was seeing one uh, this interview and folks the dead ass will make more money and get into Mercedes Benzes and they panhandle acting like they don't got nothing. Yep. But they pulling up in Mercedes. Laying the you know what I would really love to do? I think about it. It's going to sound fucked up, but hear me out. Say us as a group, we all dressed up in like shitty clothing. It's too right. cold outside. I can't, I, I can't participate. Right now, I can't participate in this until it gets hot. All right, cool. You sit back with the camera. Yeah. We all dress up, find some way to look bummy. Go somewhere people don't know us. Right? Not here in Jonesboro. Go to Little Rock. Go to Memphis. Go somewhere. Panhandle. Whatever money you raise from there, come back home. Go buy food from Food Bank or go buy random foods and hand out whatever money you made. Go buy food and hand it out to those that really need it. So you're not keeping any of it. But just to see how much money people will really give you, if people are making that much money, bring it back and go buy food and go find the ones who literally, you can tell which ones actually need it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you know, the ones that sit there, if you got your kid out here saying, we homeless, first off, you should be arrested. Because that's child endangerment to sit here and have your kid out in the middle of the summer or the winter time. I mean, I get it. If you're down and out, Salvation Army will take you in if you have a child. Especially if you can prove that child is yours. Cause some folks just be going getting their niece and nephews from somewhere oh, at the oh. trap and be doing it. It's shitty, but I've heard about it. Some of my JPD buddies have literally said people will go pick up their niece and nephew and go pay and handle and say, it's my child. Just get some extra money. I'll say they'll get you with a, a child or a dog. They always have a oh, dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we come to uh, you we got we got investing in the wrong roof. We come to a bridge dude standing there with the sign. This fool grab my change. Out of my console. I feel so bad I'm, every I'm, time. I'm quartered up. You know what I'm saying? At least $30. $30 for it. You know, I got to do my laundry and then Hey, man, no. It's mine. I'm sorry. I seen you a couple days ago. That day I met, I need my change. Bro. I'm sorry. She didn't give you my change, dog. That's my quarter, too. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah, you it's more. It makes me sound <laughs> sad. I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. I'm sorry. I hate it. Can't but at do it. the same time, I'm not going to sit here and be the person you say and you need money. Yeah. yeah, and then you don't know. You could be going around the corner. You probably got two packs of needles in your pocket, some dirty ass blood like Charlie Sheen, and some other shit going on. And I feel like the fact that I don't see you use this money right mm -hmm. means we, that. We was in Memphis. Me, Hug County. You know what I'm saying? We ought to go down there go shopping. Woman on the side of the road. I'm like, I admit, they were fired off. So we we hit this block, go shopping, go down there shopping, we come back again. She on the phone and got a bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we got designer and a cell phone. I would have my $5 back so bad, man. I'm like, man, I slapped <laughs> I would have went about with a drink. 
Ah! What made me stop, because I used to be one of the people that would like give like, you know, five, ten dollars, like something small. I can't but this was when I was still with my mom. I had mama's money still. Right? Thank you, mama. Um, <laughs> oh, um, oh, <laughs> what, what made me stop, though, is we were out of town. I think it was Memphis. And we were just walking, and this lady gave this homeless dude uh, a protein bar or something, and he threw it right behind him. And that was the last time I ever decided to give money because I was like, you didn't even take food. And that's something you need. That's and that was something you said yeah. you needed, though, because it says it on your little side and you just chunked it. What you going to do if we gave you cash? Exactly. That sign about to go down. He'll be back in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> now, how, about what, an hour. what kills me is you see the ones that actually got, like, tents set up. It's most mm -hmm. shit. Like, I respect them because you literally is out here surviving mm -hmm. until you can find something. Because crackheads ain't going to go buy no tent. And all this other stuff. Yeah, There's a dude down there, a uh, fucking um, the bridge at Stadium and Parker, where the little trees are at. Mm -hmm. Dude was there on those three. They had three trees out there. They were bushy as a motherfucker. He was literally camped out underneath the tree, had a clothesline hanging with his clothes drying. Like, dude, mm -hmm. made him a little village. And I was like, I respect the shit out there. Got to. So and he was one of the ones I went down to Bills. This was before softball. Went down the league. I said, hey, guys, we're going to be late. I'm helping somebody out real quick. Went down to Dollar General. Bought a whole bunch of simple stuff. Stuff you can go to come and go, eat some hot water, a bunch of little soup packs, all kinds of shit. Bought him some little silverware and some little bowls, little dollar shit, stuff that he could use. And I said, hey, don't be shocked. This is kind of weird for me too, but I respect how you was trying to survive right now. Don't need to know my name. You'll see me around if you get around here. If you need some, pray for it. And if I can find you again, let me know what I can do to help you. And I also gave him a job application for Dollar General. Because they told me this was back when they started the paper app. So I think it was like a couple years ago, right before COVID. Mm -hmm. Gave it to him. I'd be damned if I didn't see that dude working for Dollar General a couple weeks later. Because that was somebody who needed it. They literally told him if you need a shower or whatnot, babe, let's go in the back and do it in the bathroom. Like, right. that's respect. Yeah. Like, you know someone's down, and you know they ain't going to be late. He down the road. Yeah. That'd be the one you want to call in? Hey, ask little homie. Cause someone gonna have a phone. You can get a track phone. Those little free phones they be handing all the time. Spin the block on old boy right quick. Oh, you see God. what I'm saying? Hey, someone go down there and pick little homie up. If you can't yeah. come in, pick him up. Get him some coffee or something. Bring him in. So I promise you, that'd be the people that will want to work their ass off. And they'll work doubles for, for free. Yeah. <laughs> and be happy about it. Yeah. Because they warm. They ain't outside. They ain't got battle of elements. They'll be appreciative because then when they finally know payday's around, now they've got some money where they can do something. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, drug addicts and crackheads ain't going to be that. They ain't going to think like that. They're going to try to spend all that money right there and there to get their little high, get their little split. Folks that are surviving like that, that's the people you really want to work for you. Especially you do like construction or something. If they're willing to go through that kind of shit, you know, construction workers go through some shit shit. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know. I, I feel like that just, it'd be cool to do that one day. Just to see, especially if you got like hidden cameras or like people recording. You can see what happens here, but you bring it back. Don't do it for the clout. Yeah. But be like, this is what you could do instead of giving people money. Don't give them money. Give them food. Give them things mm -hmm. they need. Mm -hmm. You got to be nice. Go buy a whole bunch of tents from Walmart or some shit. If you homeless, here. Now you have shelter. This is your home. Take care of your home. I did my job. You're no longer homeless. Now you're just down and out. Right. If you do your hustle like you're supposed to, you're making good money, you'll evolve. You'll get to a hotel. See? Then get to where you can live at the hotel for a little bit. You know, maybe get you a little section eight or something. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't willing to put it in work, I'm not gonna help you. Yeah. So, to so bounce us back on another topic. I think this one came from Zach. Right. I know this talks. You ready? Already. <laughs> <laughs> if you stuck in a room full of your exes, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> your topic, you go for it. What right, you doing, bro? What I'm doing or what I think they gonna be doing? Both. Either one. <laughs> Both. You're gonna need that to cut the rope today. I swear to God. That just reminded me of when Snoop talked about that, bro. When he grabbed the fork and the knife, when he got on the plane with sugar and just held it right here. <laughs> I'm gonna have a debate, I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to have a debate. 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 I'm going
Yeah, all of this. You this you this includes any female you ever been intimate with. All of it. You have a, you ain't nothing to strike down. All that. I'm going to have my debate. I'm going to have my debate. Because I'm going to want to know what your problem was with me. I'm going to tell you what my problem was with you. You know, since we all here, yeah. we got enough to talk about. This going to be reverse speed day. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, <laughs> we ain't got enough to talk about. I want to know what's up. Yeah. What happened? What you saying happened? I'm going to tell you what I said happened. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to go around the room doing that. That's where we're going to start it. Yeah. Ain't nobody spinning the block, though. We doing that. <laughs> we doing that. Hey, I'm not going to be security. And y'all think y'all about to get rid of this shit? I'm about to say we're going last because they're going to die before this debate. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's but, what it is. Yeah, that's, that's real. That's real. We we just gonna keep it a buck. We gonna keep it a buck. What's up? But if I'm stuck, like they gonna leave or? No, nah, y'all walked in this room. Yeah, we like, gonna we locked in this stuff. You? I know they gonna leave. Like we talking about you get relationship, hit with the uh, situationship. Everybody, you just yeah. dig down. Yeah, it ain't gonna be at least two that ain't gonna be there. Oh, they still don't matter. They wanna be there. Yeah. They there. We done kidnapped all you have for some stuck y'all in a room. Four doors, one door, and you can't get through the door. What's gonna happen? I like a few mom faces, so you know, <laughs> popping off at the mouth might like, come up. Oh, that's gonna happen. Oh, that, that don't happen. Something that's either popping off between each other or coming to you. It's gonna happen. I don't think nothing to do with the wild will happen, though. I don't know. I think, I think you might get smacked at time. Like the time limit from the situation? Yeah, I don't think. Gwen not being there. Yeah, make sure you, you, you say it was Gwen not being there. It ain't that. I don't think there'll be no fighting. Well, Gwen here, though. So. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Murders. I don't think it'll be no fighting just because the fact that I wasn't messing with you while I was messing with you type stuff. So, so we ain't got to worry about that. But there will be some, it'll be a lot of talk. You don't worry about it. It's Gwen runs out of that magazine. <laughs> <laughs> but we, like we said before, Gwen ain't an ex no more. But I ain't gonna have no. Yeah, don't say we ain't gonna work. She wouldn't be a little bit. So, so, so it's actually oh, yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a picture. Yeah. Yeah. It don't matter. Uh, just what happened? Yeah. Situations. No, no, no. Anybody you can see that, that, yeah. Yeah. that right there? Yeah. That right there says, yeah. Right there says yeah. Uh, yeah, no, don't take it off now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toxic yeah. game. Yeah. That's you got the room. That's you got the room. I'm gonna be the commentary. I'm gonna be the one right here with us. We can be like Gwen. We got you. It's all right, Gwen. Breathe, Gwen. Why ain't you breathing? Real. It definitely be some discussion. I said, I've dated some crazy people, so I know something gonna start. I know some shit gonna start. I it's like most of my exes and everybody, they all know each other, so it's just they gonna be looking at me, looking crazy, wondering why they in a room, and then it's I don't think I could. See, yeah, I'm gonna try to get myself out. That's how the queen. Don't too many of them just know each other like that. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But I think it'd be interesting. To hear the conversation yeah, in the room, in the room, be good to hear the conversation. What the? Well, Not because, I. Because, <laughs> because, you because you're a real motherfucker. You're a real motherfucker, and this person got something to say. This person got something to say. You know what I'm saying, if a motherfucker really know you, somebody gonna be able to call you out on that bullshit they that they want. I just want to know if y'all like having all your ex in one room. They gonna like throw your type out there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Shit, that ain't gonna throw mine out there. Like Shit, throw your type out there. Yeah. Well, if you want a female, I'm gonna mess with you. Different is they brought something different out of me. So I I I my standards so low, they lower their bow legged caterpillar <laughs> belly button, son. Y'all gonna see some shit. Be like, damn, you dated the emo bit? You'll get it. You'll get, you get, get, you get an idea. Yeah. You'll get a pretty good idea. Oh, you would. You'd be confused as fuck. You'll get, you get a pretty good idea on mine. I feel like most of them intellectual, so. The thing is, all of them. All of them. All of them. All of mine are completely different. Completely different Shit. from each other. <laughs> if don't far as like looks, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not far as looks, but I'm talking about who they are. It's all completely different. I'll be more scared for you because that one might might know each other. That's what I'm saying. You think on my end? Yes. I'm safe. I pay my own. I also feel like I would say no, me. but these, my but these days with uh with, with everything going on now, you run in, you run into more bi females than anything now. So. It would probably end up like that. Well, most of them try. And you got the last know. two, the last two hours with both of them were by, yeah. you know, so oh, they, you, sexual. both. <laughs> and you see more and more of that every day. So you, you, really, you really don't know. They might be in there. <laughs> they might be in there knowing each other. Yeah. What you laughing? What you laughing? You just clicked and you said both. 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 Both.
many personalities. I'm about to that's, say. that's what I'm saying. Y'all was only around for a little bit of them. Yeah. And, and no one picked that up. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Shit, I think we'll get along. You, you got, got a ball yours. coming to your head. You got good no. faith in yours. <laughs> 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 I don't got faith in yours. I, I love you. I see it. I, I see it. 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 I like honestly, they had the one of like, I don't they have, do. I don't have that fucking real, real reason as to why. That's what a lot of them be. No, all of them. Yeah, they were like no. all of those relationships. Is what I heard was that was the main reason why there was problems. But I was a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell for a while she was. <laughs> hey, I didn't start shit with nobody. That didn't start shit with me first. I ain't gonna lie, you big. You can't how she finish it? <laughs> it don't matter how I finish it. I didn't start it. I didn't I mean, start it. Give a prop. She didn't start it. Y'all didn't see her hold this bitch for her throat over this. My boy, we weren't in high school with y'all. That's Whatever crazy. happened in the past happened in the past. That scared she me. Didn't start. I didn't start it. Didn't start it. I didn't start it either. I don't ever start it. No. The bitch that got <laughs> held over the stairwell got <laughs> held over the stair. And now she's here with that. Oh damn! For real. I'll show you a picture later on. Look, the only reason I'm giving them a couple eggs. No, <laughs> this one I know for sure because she just got arrested two days ago. I was looking at the Craig County thing. About? Who did you hold over the stairs? Oh, uh, I'd be forgetting y'all. More than one? <laughs> she I threw one of them down the stairs. I have attitudes with people Wait a minute, she a did this more than once? Probably. You think I'm kidding when I tell you I'm going to shoot Gwen if she ever get mad at me for real? Like... I fear my mama and God, and I'm a little bit worried about that motherfucker. I'm good Jeez. unless you fuck with me, though. No, real shit. As long as, if you don't come with me, don't speak my name. Don't say nothing about me, my this, kids. That's how it was with my first baby mama. They might have had a problem, but when they say nothing. And you know how many times nothing? I wanted to chunk that bitch I down was the chilling. stairs in school? I was chilling Ooh. with my homeboy. <laughs> I was chilling with my homeboy. We was in his brother career. We were sitting outside. My baby mama lived right there. Yeah. She saw me, so she made the reasons to come outside to go to her car. Mm. Gwen and my sister hit the block. Just riding. She saw like, Gwen. Bitch, I ain't scared of you. First fuck. Gwen ain't saying she to you. Gwen hopped out the car before the car was parked. Before the car was parked, Gwen out the car like that. Jumping out that motherfucker. I'm talking about, and she always had a pin. There was always a pin or a pencil. But she had that motherfucker. The girl went in her house and her back door grabbed the baseball bat. So me and my brother, we screwed up so we could see the see what's going on. We screwed the car. He ain't trying to hurt him. He ain't breaking nothing up. He didn't want to use So I said. I said, bro, she been up with that bad dad. <laughs> oh, she do it. Gwen said, uh, bitch, what you doing with the bat? She put it down. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Gwen grabbed her, pulled her out of her back door, mm -hmm. beat her ass, like 12 people coming from out of the woodwork. I'm like, nah, y'all, back, 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 back up. Back up, we ain't doing that shit. This farm girl? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gwen beat her yeah. ass. Her arms are dying. <laughs> like, bro. Like, what would you be doing right now? He said, I'd be beating the fuck out of her with the other arm. I said, exactly. I think she just blacked out or something. We ain't bad. Uh, she put her in a stroke. But I'm like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when they come around there, when they come around there bothering her. You know what I'm saying? We had Carl, we was all hitting blocks. You know what I'm saying? When they come around there bothering her. About, she said something first. I'm about to say, every fight that you got into, it sounds like you just finished it. Well, another one of my exes. <laughs> it's one of my always exes. his exes. <laughs> the another one of my exes knocked on her door. We, 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 we were younger. When we were younger, knocked on her door. Her mama was fed up. Her mama said, you know what? Y'all get out here and fight it out. I'm tired of shit. In the field next door to my house. Yo, mom said, I'm done with this goof shit. We had whooped her ass. And another one of my exes was right there watching. She was my ex at the time. She was one of my recent exes. But she was there back then. So she should know not to fuck with Gwen. You know what she was? She was sitting back like, I told you not to fuck with that girl. <laughs> But so see, like, I don't fuck with folks until they fuck with me first. That's all it is. And then they're like, well, you crazy. Well, bitch, I'm trying to tell you. Just leave me be. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I mean, we do give people ample warnings. Yeah. I mean, they don't take it. I ain't tell nobody. Shit, I tell everybody, Gwen ain't shit. She a puss. I bet you can whoop her ass. I'm just sitting back the whole time. You say, you say, folks, up. That's all I did in school. When I found out she could fight. Oh, Gwen. That was the worst thing she could ever let me know. Man. I started I so much shit. I wanted to chunk it. Hey, mama down them steps. Well, it took a lot of me. I had to leave school. I had to switch from Jonesboro to that. So I, I, I was telling my homegirl, next time they get you on by me, I'm going, I'm going to jail. And how long did you stay? About two weeks. So I had to come back. Oh, no. I was like, mm -hmm. Not even enough to have homework. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That didn't get, she didn't get a library. That, that's when she left and gave me enough time to pick up another prom date. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's so when she came back and had three of them. Did you whoop her ass, too? No, no, no. she went not double up the fuck with her. No. Who you talking about? Who you talking about? I had paid that lower age. I probably would have. Mm, it took. Mm, I ain't like her. Now that she's, like, she's like, I got an ass whooping for her. Josh and Wade. I ain't like that either. <laughs> she's straight yeah. now, but I ain't like her back then. Well, all your exes in the room ain't going on. Yeah, towards him. Right. Towards him. Oh yeah. He you talks. Said it was. Cause he talks. Uh, oh no, I don't know. I already know. Well, here's the thing. They ain't gonna know. They really, unless you announce it, they ain't gonna know they my exes. Like. I think the rumor know about mine. They'll, they'll know they are. Well, let me phrase it. A bunch of females in the room, they gonna know something. Before I yeah, openly it's came be, out. It's gonna be their look they give you. Before I openly came out with people that I like big girls, back in the day, I didn't always just like big girls. You were skinny girl, big girls. It didn't, you didn't know. But I had a real bad emo phase for a while. Like, your boy was wearing trip pants and, you know, black fingernails and shit for a hot minute. I did this in school. Like, you know, I got made fun of in school. I was like, why are you wearing those pants with chains on them? Because I want to. Including most was comfortable. No, you mean this is a bigger target. Well, I mean, <laughs> and, well, the thing. and back then, this is about the time that everyone started realizing, oh shit, how I don't give a fuck. No, I'll beat the fuck out of somebody now. I don't got my ass whooped enough in football. Everybody got mad at me for being soft. So then I got tired of them making fun of me. Then some other shit went down in my life that made me go completely violent as fuck. So I didn't care. What was you gonna do? You fat, and I still fucked your bitch. That's the funny part right there. I was a male cheerleader, boy. I was fucking People hate right that here. shit. They come because they used to make me cry on some cool shit. Like when I first moved to Jonesboro School, you call me fat and shit, dude. I'd break down. I thought that was like the most ultimate disrespectful thing you could say. And then I started realizing, you better check back. These girls <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, I didn't yeah. know back then. You know, I went from Nelson. I was soft as fuck. I was soft as Charmin tissue paper. Mm -hmm. But then it's like I started realizing, girl, <laughs> that's my big ass. That's soft <laughs> with the extra lotion. But <laughs> like when I started, I mentally had to tell myself, I was like, why do all these girls like you and hang around you all the time? But they know you fat. And then it hit me. I was like, hold on, nigga. These hoes love my fat ass. Hell yeah, I'm fat. Well, I was fucking everybody I could. I think my body count in high school was ridiculous. And I, I mean, it's something you can brag about, but it's like now I look back on, I wish I wasn't so wildin'. But the only reason I did it, ninety percent of it was because dudes would be like. She don't even like black dudes. You can't do it. Hey. I did lots of hey, that motherfuckers. Say Thank you. I'm gonna say, say, say a big motherfucker won't gonna be able to do it. No. <laughs> the girls' gym at JHS, the old girls' gym. I had people say, "Man, you can't fuck down there." Who? Okay. <laughs> uh, you'd be amazed. I mean, places you can get it in. But it's at JHS before that was addition shit. Now, now I probably can find some places to be out in the open. Still, no one figured out. Area Dorvote. Was a spot. Now you want to go do some fucking? You was back there fucking between the broke down walls. Say I was. <laughs> I was back there laying pipe bucko. You thought I was a poly pipe salesman. Right. <laughs> it was over with. But it was so easy back then. Them stairs, that none of them stairs have cameras. You really want to get, you get frisky with it. If you go outside in the gazebo during lunch, you get enough of your friends out there that ain't paying no attention. You can go out there and get slurped up in the gazebo because everybody's used to sitting that bit deep anyways. See, but people in our grade were dumb as fuck. They go fuck right beside the camera. No, they were just kinky. <laughs> <laughs> they just trying they to wanted they to be on the camera. Yeah, yeah, right. He was fucking care. teachers and not telling people. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to say nothing about you know, it's algebra 2 and geometry teacher. Did she say she's dead? Oh. <laughs> no, that was a science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm talking about. We'll, we'll say this one on commercial break. <laughs> uh, but no, on a real note, uh, if I had my ex in my room, I just hope I have grown more than the situation, the issues I had with before. Yeah. That'd be the only thing I really I still think some of the police gonna smack the shit out you one good time. I mean, somebody well, feelings might be hurt enough. Some, yeah. Somebody feelings might be hurt enough to do that. And most of the time, that's the one that knew she missed out on some shit. Because another thing in that room is. Somebody gonna be mad because it goes by the saying, just because two people had the same person don't mean they had the same person. Yeah, right. Somebody gonna be mad about this shit. You did this one with this one, and you didn't do it with this one. Someone gonna get mad because you grew mm -hmm. after them. Yeah, that too. That that's the they still on that same level, but you right here. So 
That'd be the ones. Where, that's what would honestly get me in trouble. Like, if we went from high school till now, I've grown a fuck ton. Literally and metaphorically. Bitch, you ain't grown nowhere. You're same size. I have lost weight, thank you. <laughs> you lost height. That's true. I've grown six inches, seven inches since high school. Still can't see my dick. What else to press it on? You know what it's like to sit there and press it elementary shoot. school looking like a giant. Man, okay. hey, look, it was not my fault that I was six foot tall at 10. My daddy fell asleep in it. I don't know what else to tell you. It was a hell of a cramp. Mm. Why are you so short? You <laughs> I love you. Me being short, they ain't they don't disadvantage. I ain't fucked up about it. I'd rather be short. I swear to God, I trade you. I got that he has dreams about being short. Bro, I swear, I want to be like a five foot three nigga, the skinny, bow legged, and fast. You know how many of my friends I go around and just start punching them for no reason? Bop! And just take off running. No, they can't catch me. On yeah, purpose. You evil. That's yeah. fuck. If you understood how much hazing I went through if, from Jonesboro schools compared to Nettleton, yes, I'm evil. I'm an asshole for a reason. I don't fuck no fingers at nobody. <laughs> oh. Say <laughs> <Do> what? Somehow that's not a point of view. Yeah, what do you say? Did you haze high tower? <laughs> Shit, I probably would have too. <laughs> <laughs> no All the cause. Did he stop everyone else from hazing high tower? Yes, he did. Lie, man. Lie, man. Lie, man. I don't know. I had the hey, oh, I don't know. I deserved it. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I probably deserved it, but still. Did he deserve it though? Stop telling. I was hell back then, bro. I was lazy. That was the biggest thing. I was just lazy. I was lazy as fuck, and I didn't want to do right because I had an anger problem. Oh, I know some people like that. That was your alarm, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Doing then. I am. Commercial break me, please. Well, should you just why everybody's so goddamn big? I, I can't get around that way. You need it. You're talking right? about the two worms off men in black. I mean, you're talking about they big. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. They give everybody back to big. I swear to God. So everybody back what? Everybody <laughs> back to big now. Oh, it's winter time. Back. You got to put on that winter coat. Oh, Ain't nobody trying to be cold during the winter time. Oh, man. For me being big, man, I lose five pounds, and it's like I get cold faster. I lose five pounds. I don't know what know. the fuck going on. God. You it take zero degrees to get me cold. Right now, I drop third temperature. Nah, no, you just like cold. Five pounds. None. Yeah, I'm going outside. And short. I'm sweating. Yeah, short hoodie be straight. I don't see how y'all do it. I be shivering like a mother. That's because you anemic now, nigga. You used to I have mean, a whole nother you on you. I, I mean, yeah. I did used to have a built-in coat. That's like the one thing I do miss about being as big as I was. Okay, okay. I'm gonna ask a question, because you here. Y'all yeah. went to school together. Yeah. So when he was a big Brian, all y'all still went to school together. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in them now? Hey, he feeling himself now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, the whole attitude and everything changed. I wish you had your attitude now for when you was big. Ain't nothing what's, what's the more difference? intimidating. What's the difference in the attitude? Good attitude. I mean, he's light skin now. Oh yeah, yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> yellow ass nigga. <laughs> you the only ultra yellow nigga I've ever met in my life. Right. Well, also, I just say he ain't been through no major pain yet, so that probably got a lot to do with the kayak now. Even more so firm. So, shit, so, 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 so I say I just had to add that because you wasn't just the only one there that knew him back then. Yeah. I didn't know him no. Cause he wouldn't talk to me. He would say hi. We would say hi to each other. That's about it. <laughs> he was bougie back then. Huh? I'm about to say bougie. Nah, bougie. Shining mother. Shit, I wouldn't oh, say yeah. words to nobody, so I can't even say nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to yeah, say yeah. I probably spoke more than him. Yeah, I yeah. barely spoke. Hey, I'm just saying something. He was quiet. He was late. I'm at the lunch table by myself. Yeah, he was late. Yeah, yeah, no, I never. You ain't toxic. You a sociopath. No, no everybody, everybody, don't nobody. Yeah, he don't. Everybody yeah. else out here driving when they hit 13, 14. Mm -hmm. He ain't stopped driving till eighteen. Yeah. He didn't want to. Yeah, he, 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 didn't, he, didn't he didn't want to. I ain't gonna lie, a little bit of an asshole because I knew if I got my license, I gotta make these trips to the store, and that ain't shit I want to do. For <laughs> <laughs> so that's everybody else. That's what's on their mind, though. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else, they're like, man, we gotta get them keys. Mama sent me to the store. I go. You know how we were hearing blocks listening to music and shit back then? And keep the change? Well, what? Hey. And didn't get mad when they were. I go to the store quick for and it. And again, I ain't fuck with nobody, so I ain't really need no reason. Yeah, yeah, because back then. You know what I'm saying? That's not real. We stepped up. We had the corner. Oh, that's all from school. Shit, what's up with? 
Oh. Yeah, you ain't messing nobody. He started, he literally started driving by the week of graduation. Damn, I'm like, shit. Shit. Yeah. I ain't feeling nobody for real. You really is just a loner. Yeah. I don't know you're mad at it. I've been there for a while. I was talking hey, just no, like no, now. Like, my phone time then. back then was like two, three hours. The boy did not get on the phone. No, he did. So dead ass. He played the game. My boy used to take the battery out of his phone. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> he, played, he played the game. You weird. Zach was playing the game, man. Not the bad way, but yeah, that's weird. Because, like, you would think with your generation compared to, like, how we was, you'd be that motherfucker that's just always out in the shit. Especially because you play football with JHS. I ain't going to lie. If you play football with JHS, you was either a hermit crab that would probably fuck you up. I saw you hit folks. Or he was one of them jock preppy bitches. And there was no in between. Why are you me? Because <laughs> you was the other quiet nigga to probably be fucking people up. You was on the team too, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta get a lot of love and get, get, get there. I, I, was, I was starting right bench. I showed about to ask, what position did you play? Starting right bench. Your actual position? Uh, defense line. Nose. Yeah, I was him. <laughs> I was in a big ass. Yeah. You ever seen the movie Replacements? You know the two big black niggas on Replacements? <laughs> Him and Keon. <laughs> Them two were scared the fuck out of me. Uh, yeah, I get y'all that uh, left. Well, I get y'all put y'all on the same side. Same side, bro. Left side, let them run the counter to the right. It's over with. It's a wrap. Imagine this. Imagine this. Movie. You, Keon, then we throw Big Apple White. Yep. Throw him. Okay. Big Carlos. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. We had to look at point directions, which way this nigga did the block, literally. And then, who, who else played your senior year? I'm trying to think they played line. Uh, Grant Cook. Oh, yeah. That yeah, yeah. So, boy, that, that's a line right there, man. That's a apple why you want to sleep. Good point. Yeah, you're right. Boy, nah. boy, nah, let me tell you. I used to work with him. Free don't like You know, when you go to a meeting, yo. If you the sleepy motherfucker, don't sit at the very front. Man, no, you sleep in the back. He in the very front. The boss is speaking at the front, so he right there in the front of the He already got three seats. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sitting there. No, he big as hell. Dre is just hanging down. Damn. Ow. The boss talking, so he everybody, the boss like sitting there like. But the boss actually talking about some shit? the boss sitting there like. You with us? Yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah, no. I was like, boss ain't about to go for this shit. Boss ain't about to go for this shit because Buddy was some shit. You, you, you want to be fired on your day off. Yeah. Yeah. Will. I was yeah. like, man. You were stealing boxes. You were sitting blowing them W's. That boy was gone. That's one thing I can well, no. say. I Give us somebody else. Give me Josh James. Fuck no, bro. Hey, give me all the respect to the world, that cock strong motherfucker. Give me John. All I need is him. I don't even know what You don't need nobody else. Give me John James. Look, if you ain't never seen a light skinned nigga that could probably bench press two full buses full of people, this nigga played nose when I was playing center. And the reason I got good at playing center, because he used to, I'm talking about, he would hit you with the force. He was small then. Yeah, he was small. He was small then, but he was solid. Like, he was his size. But yellow muscle. You know them pit bulls you see look like they've been carrying center blocks? <laughs> that was Josh James. Yeah, like a fine pit bull. And the nigga had hands, bro, that was thicker than mine. Yeah. Like, thick. All he had to do was one time. Bam! Smack you in that helmet and get around. You don't know how many times during practice I look back at coach. Hey, right. if he if he does that stuff, I am you and y'all. <laughs> Shit. JV, JVQB? Oh, Carter. I know Carter got some uh, Callahan. I know he got some motherfucking horror stories. I need, Josh, I need, I need some practice. I need Josh Kamara because like, he got stories for y'all. Oh, yeah. Then we this he nigga left us. Rolling. He left us junior year at JHS and went back to OCO. That's who our first game of the fucking year was. OCO. No, second game. We, we beat Win our first game mm -hmm. at Win. We came home, played OCO. This nigga's playing fullback. Now, for us, he only played defensive line. Because offense-wise, the coach wouldn't have it. He wouldn't try to teach that nigga shit. Josh didn't want to listen. 
So when he went to O, they must have known how to get to him or something. They have a sweet spot. I guess they gave him a dollar or some you know, don't, super donuts or something back there, whatever it was. <laughs> we get out there. I don't start, but I, I was a backup D line before we were trying to stop the run. And I look over. Coach Brown. Ain't that Josh? Oh, shit, it is. First play. Ah, this nigga hit the hole so hard that the line, the sound waves is rattled. 25 yards. I look back. <laughs> hey, I'm going in after halftime, y'all. I went and set my ass down on the bench. Scanning. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. You call me what you want to. Oh, you a bitch. I'm a bitch today. But he wasn't hitting me that hard until after halftime. After then he was tired. So I was set. Soon as that might come up the middle, he tried to do that little bouncy shit. Hell no, you tired now? You ain't about to hit me full force? Yeah, I feel you. Mm -mm. you. I got another one? No, I don't. No, I already got time? one deep down. So. I got one for you, because I know how you're going to come with it. Oh, here we this, go. This, this, this is the last one. Oh, this is scary. This will be the last one. I'm trying to get on that plate. Shit, I'm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> shit, I'm watching turkey out. <laughs> shit, goddamn. Right. That's what happens when you don't eat all day. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Skinny ass, you gotta eat, baby. I'm hungry. You gotta eat. Let me tell you how it was. Let me tell you how Little bro come into town for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving on Thursday. He got plans, you know what I'm saying? At another house on Thursday. So we eat on Friday. Thursday ain't shit open. <laughs> so we sit here like, man. Starving. Oh, hell, fucking starving, like, man. Some bullshit. Friday, we cooking. Oh, time we cook. I said, man, you know what? I'm hungry than them motherfuckers. So we cook some shit. I put the time on. I go in and go sleep. <laughs> Come back out, check my food, go back and I go sleep. Man, I'm like, man, it's a boot. I'm starving like mother, day and a half. I ain't gonna lie. Pissed it's off. Funny. I get out of the house, hit some blocks. I'm like, shit, something about to be open. <coughs> shit open. Pitch sticks. Like, shit open. So I'm like, man, I had to go to the uh, A-Rab store. A-Rab gas station, get something to eat. They got the same yeah. shit. They always got something like this. ain't no it's some bullshit. shit. Yeah. Hey, I gotta throw in and I use this bed laying like a bad bitch, though. I ain't gonna lie, you two decide with the phone. <laughs> yeah, I got my time on the phone. Because I'm just in there, just really just looking at the TV. I thought it was all here. You know, I'm thinking this, I'm in my sleep. I'm thinking this in my sleep. I'm still asleep. Hey! Yeah. Maybe that time gonna take for the eye. Yeah, I go. Damn, man. I try my best to do, keep myself occupied to that food. You talk about pissed. Huh? Hey. I caught the audience before we even ate. I was like, man, it's six o'clock a little hard. Yeah, real hard. <laughs> <laughs> real hard. But I heard my question for you. It ain't really got nothing to do with you, but I know how you're coming with. Can you privately fuck with somebody? No. And only you and that person No. Know? No. Only you no. I don't have you cook. Only you and that no, person. No, how? Know. How? Because if the female's gonna run her mouth regardless if it's somebody she wants to fuck on, and the dude's gonna tell his boys. I'm mm. sorry. Mm. It's, it, it's gonna come out. Mm. It's gonna come out. You and if it ain't the boys, this. it's the female. I'm no. sorry. It's All coming right. out. I'm 100% the female. <laughs> you is not. Boys. So you don't think you can proudly fuck with nobody? No. If a dude tell his boy. If and you really fuck with you like that, it might be one person just so it's that it's one person. still out know, there. Just so that one person know where he is. It's still out there. I'm, I'm going to be real. If it's good, it ain't private. My boy shit. My thing is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. if. I'm telling them it was trash. I don't care how good the shit is. And we set that up in the beginning, that we ain't telling nobody shit. Nobody. Nobody, buddy. I'll do it. I can do it. I'll fuck with that, though. Yeah, okay, you it. say you can do it. You might be able to, but I'm telling you, it's going to get out there, period. Think so? I know so. Yeah. The moment you piss that bitch off, it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. The moment you say pull up, and, or she say pull up and you don't pull up, oh, it's a wrap. Oh, no, you, you fuck off on it's a done. Day. That's on you. I can't do that it's for done. you. Things all in. Niggas will be yeah. on time for a dick appointment. Niggas will be 15 minutes late to court wondering why they ain't contempt already. No, they will not be late to the dick appointment. What do you think, Zach? God damn, Zach. What do hey, you think, Zach? Be cool. You're like this right you know, that's what I'm saying. Hey, I, then I'm really a home groomer, so taking this little shower, you know, all the gas. You just disrespectful. That's just <laughs> First off, I got trust issues. I'm about to stick my thing thing and a wound full of teeth. You think I'm trying to be late? No, nah, I'm straight. Yeah, you <laughs> you did, you one did. time, Chomper gonna be. You definitely can't be late to that. Mm -mm. But I'll be late to my funeral. By that bitch like a carrot. You know what I'm stepping in? I see where yeah, I, I really said. Three I see where I said you can't. <laughs> You can't do the fuck buddy stuff. No. Because you always catch feelings. 
You can't just fuck somebody either and not catch feelings. I mean, you're going to catch feelings, but that's, that ain't got nothing to do with two people each other. If once you catch doing. feelings, you're going to want to go out, you're going to want to take them somewhere, you're going to want to do something. It's not going to stay private. No, stop There's no way. way. There you go. There's no way for you're right. You can't. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right, because then what you're going to do something, you know that. And I'm sorry, the first minute time you pissed the female off. All your business out there. Bitch, I'm going to Facebook. The bitch is going to Facebook, Snapchat, Hell. fucking Instagram, MySpace, everywhere. Everywhere you can go, they're going. Me personally, I feel like I can hold it probably. You I might know, be able to, yeah, but yeah, I bet, yeah. that's, that's I bet your like females me. ain't. I have enough fucking in my system. So it don't matter. Look, that's what I want. I ain't fucking up a good thing. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. It don't matter no, how good like, the I bitch is. I still play my game with everybody else, though. I like to post food. You see somebody else play, so you got to know what's up. Now that talk to him, so. Snitched on myself. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's all himself. <laughs> it is. And my play being posted, you ain't seeing a ring, no other play, no nothing. Nothing. You ain't seeing a ring, no drink over there in the corner, mine right here, no. You ain't seeing nothing of this shit. <laughs> none of this shit. I, mean, I, I get what you're saying, though. So I get what you're saying, though. You're right. Because folks be nosy, so I know feeding a little bit and fucking their head a little bit. Exactly. Now your business. Down there because the bitches don't put this plate with that plate and those two plates came from the same house. Bitch, I'm looking at everything. When me and you went together, somebody somebody put it together by me and this other person. You know what I'm saying? The likes on Facebook. Bitch. I ain't gonna lie. See, can't don't do that. Girl, he posted shit that's funny. Oh, your mama came to us. You know, you fuck with her? Damn. People watching. People watching your shit. I don't even like some shit. You know what I'm saying? You like more than one thing. Now they like. It's over. I'm about to watch this for about three or four days, and if it keeps going, shit if it keep going, then they own the song. I don't even know shit. I post so much funny shit on mine, you'll never know who do. If the lie. same bitch likes 19 goddamn things, you've done dick that bitch down. No, nah, no, mm -hmm. no. Nope. I got a lot of black girls on my shit to be liking the fuck you out of my stuff. I've only tried to fuck one black girl, and I found that she was my cousin, and I couldn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. but oh, I, I, I can talk to you that Hold on, hold on. What hold the on. fuck? Go back to what she said. You ain't. I'll tell you nope. that in a minute. Just because they like all your shit don't mean you fuck. No. You tried. No. You nope. wanted to, nope. but you had some type of thought about it. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well, hold on. I can have a thought about it because if you're the opposite set and attractive, I'm going in my mind, I'm telling you, if I think you're attractive, I fucked you in my head for 30 seconds. I'm just going to keep it a bill. When well, that's like a man. How many people that was, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing to do with them. Not in that type but of But you could have. And you you spoke to him. And yeah, but exactly. Well, I, spoke, I spoke to one. And you could have went somewhere with that one. You've already one said it. One out of the five or six. And thousand. <laughs> <laughs> one out of all of them. Don't matter. So no, it don't. It goes back. No, just because all of them do that don't mean you fucked all of them. Don't mean you could have. I mean, you probably could have, but not. You not know that you could have. If the opportunity arises, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's different. that's different. But if it ain't never came up, it ain't never been talked about, none of that. Because a lot of people just think I'm stupid and funny. From what the fuck we was talking about, though? I'm, no, talking about, I'm, I'm, talking about I'm still trying to find out why you almost fucked the cousin. Before we get into that, I don't want that's to get into that. That's going to be a whole people. other episode that we're going to start that mm -hmm. off with. That story, I thought I told you this one. It was a fuck. I up. think I would remember your big ass trying. There is a reason why I only date white women. <laughs> if it ain't snowing, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the next episode. That's justifiable, dude. Because if you just out here just hating on black women, that ain't different. But if you got, Hell a, no. you got a reason, I'm you. picky. I got, like, you. I got you. I literally am picky. Yes, I only like big women. Don't get me wrong. There's some skinny women so out there that's awesome. Says, man, that's Playing to sell you straight. Yeah, like I'm, I'm that black dude that's big as fuck that like big white girls. If I, I snuggle got, something, I want some squishy. I ain't got a problem with the color. I mean, I don't either. They just got a problem with my redneck ass. I had a black one for a while. You already know. I think so. I had a black one for before you. So. You dated someone before Gwen? Yeah, she bought a Gwen click. Oh, damn. I thought y'all been talking about 30 now years. Now I'm lost. Who? We're about to end it so you can do it. Commercial that didn't even place. count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all wasn't even in a relationship. But we fucked with each other for like a year. How? Ooh. Sending text messages? You, you didn't even have a cell phone back then. Y'all was writing letters? That didn't count. I spent some love for that.
<laughs> them DMs was crispy oh, back in the day. Yeah. Man, well, I think we about to end. Yeah, she was out doing some shit type of shit. Yeah. You find out you running the kite. What? <laughs> I swear to God. I'm going to say they're roaches. <laughs> With a post it note. No pigeons for us. <laughs> We up there in deep with those pigeon coops. Yeah, yeah. Look, I thought you said I had to get mad over it. I was sitting over here. Oh, oh, first day I was saying it. No, the first day I was saying it was before you, so I mean, you gotta shut the fuck up. I mean, you gotta shut the fuck up. I had to remember there was someone before Gwen. Fuck, y'all been together 32 years? Yeah. Something like that. But now, like, I wanna know if you can fuck somebody properly, though. Yeah. I could. Yeah. Don't say you grown, man. No, you know? okay. As a man, yeah, you can try, it, but the females, you all can't. That ain't gonna lie. That, that's on her. On the court. Okay, but it's still out there, so it ain't private no more. If she wasn't gonna tell everyone, what's she gonna tell him? He got some good dick. It don't matter. Thank you. That's public it, science. It's that's not free going advertising. It's not private. That's what I've been in a situation like, though. If, if they, they, they start with it, yeah, that's what they do it. Yeah. All right. If but that's how they started, then that's how they started. Yeah, we fuck with each other probably. Will it get out there? Yes. It's gonna get out there eventually, but here's the thing. You're gonna know the story if it came from the dude or if it came from the female. It started, bro. If it gets out, everything for starts probably for how long? For how long? But, but the question can't is, can you do it? I mean, no, it, it, doesn't no. it, it doesn't mean you it lasts. It doesn't mean it lasts. You go for six months. Okay. It's okay. I, I used to knock know. off one of my buddy's moms in school, and to this day, social still media don't know ain't, I was ain't social day. media ain't everything for everybody yeah. these days. Cause some folks don't have. We a grown now. Stay we not in school. We don't have the same friend group we used to have to where it used to be 20, 30 motherfuckers. Yeah, no, so crazy. yes, you can go six months with that motherfucker knowing some shit. You know, if you ain't, you ain't on that social media cool. like that. Hey, this niggas out here that's married and travel for work and got a whole nother marriage in another fucking part of the United States. And they did and this for years. That? What's that? Private. Private than a bitch. <laughs> this nigga it's got a whole nother It's a wife at home. It ain't private to the town where he's married to that motherfucker. But don't nobody else but know about this past the Exactly. It's private it's where she is. It's all about location, location, location. She ain't open her motherfucker mouth. In her town, maybe not here. Hey, but that's all right. In that town, they don't know about the bitch on the other side of the state. It ain't private then. But it is, though, because it's private to the It's private to his wife at home, yeah. So then it's private. That's all that matters. It's private enough, ain't it? I mean, nothing's technically private. Because you want to be real, it happened and God knows about it. Let's, yeah, be yeah. Let's be petty. Let's be petty. A little bit of my toxic on that. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Everything is going to be public. But my thing is this. If you are the person standing outside the relationships at hand, if you go to the first town where his first wife, his true first wife is at, see who knows. Just, you know, not putting his business out there, but just asking some questions. Now, we're going to fly together. Me and you going to go. We're going to go to where the new bitch at. We're going to see what people say about America. I guarantee you, the distance between those two, it ain't going to meet up here because, for one, if you dumb enough, or actually, I ain't going to say dumb enough, if you on the cool slick enough to get married here and technically marry here, you done already did some federal offenses because, nigga, that means you got different birth certificates, social security number, identification. I only had some shit like that when I was moving drugs, and it was hard to get. Thank you, J.D. Swartz. But... Um, <laughs> You got to do some shit. So is it still private? One hundred percent. Because niggas be putting money over in Sweden, and that a nigga ain't set foot across the Atlantic Ocean. Probably ain't touched the Atlantic Ocean. So it's still private, but it's gonna be publicly private. Because, like I said, I, there's some people that have literally been probably sleeping around on each other for years, and don't nobody know about it but those two people. And it's gonna stay that way because they know if they make it public, it's private. It's gonna fuck everything up. It's and private. Look at Bill. Bill was private. For the longest. And then he wouldn't admit that he hit the one. And then Monica ended up sucking too good. And then, you know, one thing went to another. I did not have relations. <laughs> it didn't have no relations. It didn't last long enough. Probably she was only, only 30 seconds. Probably probably she ain't working. Oh, People oh, didn't let it work, man. It Can you be private? Work. Yes. Can Will both it stay of you be private? private? No. Never. But until then, I'm enjoying life by the moment. Private, though. So what? So I would think to go and not say private, though. Shit, not Just everybody. Depending. Not everybody's ready for public, though. Not everybody can handle the truth. Right. I mean, no matter how upfront you are as a person, you can be upfront. Hey, look, we just fucking, this is all we doing. You got me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The mother days, that ain't your time. But when I'm with you, it's your time. Okay, cool. She agrees. Well, here it is Monday. You lonely. Babe, what are you doing? I'm busy right now. But I want you here. 
then I'm, I'm going to post some subliminal shit. <laughs> if you get mad about that, here's the thing. Can you prove it? Right. At the same time, do not get me wrong. Would I want to be private? No. No. Hell no. Now? No. Back then? Fuck yes. I live longer. Hell no. I, I like to be private starting out just to have like a healthy combination. I, I see. Ain't nobody else in your shit. Yeah, I see you starting out, starting out. Cool. You ain't got everybody else trying to tell you. Y'all, when y'all get y'all shit established, it's cool to let everybody know. Yeah. Because it, it ain't the simple fact that I just want to let everybody know. It's simple fact like, if it come to me posting you. People can fuck it up quick. I was coming, if it come to me posting you, way. if it come to me posting you, I'm doing it for me. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing it for me. Yeah, I'm proud of what I got. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me and Bay, me and Bay just took a fire ass pick. I was that shit. You know what I'm saying? That it is. ain't for everybody else. Everybody That's got for me. To. That That's for me. Talk shit. That's for me to post and be like, damn, my baby look good. I'm posting it for you. I'm saying I'm putting it for you and me, not for everybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? If everybody else sees it, that's fine. It's, but I at do, the same time, I don't really give two fucks. We went years. We went years doing this shit on Facebook. I love you, baby. How good day at work? We could take that shit. And what nobody else know. You know we could take right. that shit. We do it on Facebook. Ain't no wrong with it. Ain't no wrong with it. That's how y'all work. Do I want to be private? Hell no. I'm, I'm proud of what proud. I got. I'm proud of what I got. Too much effort to be proud. I'm proud of what I got. Yeah, I, like, I like to post mine. Me personally, it ain't on. Yeah, I like to post mine. Nigga, you don't talk to nobody. Just like you probably can't see nobody in them dark ass glasses. <laughs> like I said, I can do it. Yeah, I don't know. Nigga, it's a human cockroach. You don't see when the lights come on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you got them BBs on, on your. Man, we <laughs> 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 And these BBs is probably gonna be shooting at the little roaches right yeah. now. <laughs> don't worry about my BBs. They private. <laughs> they ain't meant for the public. Maybe you look like talking to me. Cool. Yeah, this rough. They ain't got no season. They, they, they ain't proud of that on camera, bro. <laughs> hey, somebody edit that shit out. No, nah, that's how we go in this motherfucker. <laughs> look, yeah, so. my face look like no boy on Triple H. You're in Triple H. Just burn half the shit off. I ain't got that far, bro. BBs. My BBs are soft, though. <laughs> I tell you, you got you guys got any final words? Oh man, no man. Don't no, worry man. about it, bitch. I know somebody like. It. <laughs> 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 Don't nobody like this. Yeah,